Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back. So, we just got done talking here at the uh, office. Because um, this not only is a uh, dealership, but the uh, the finance guys also work with worked with Grandpa on a lot of stuff. So, we got to uh, chat with them about some stuff. We have good news. Um, we got inheritance from Grandpa. Now, it's a lot more than we thought. A lot more, actually. We got $1.5 million from Grandpa. So, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to go in here and we are going to repay all of this loan because the bank has been getting on us about that. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to repay all of that. That still leaves us with $1.3 Now, Grandpa hadn't bought or made any deals to buy the machinery for cattle. So that means, well, that's part of our deal that we already made with the uh, dealership here. Um, they're getting some machinery brought in for us that uh, we looked at, um, or that I looked at. So we're going to be having some more equipment in here soon. Um, probably we're not going to see it today, but... Um, also talked about talked to the guys about some buildings uh, we're gonna get a couple of buildings put up uh, one of them one of the new ones that we're gonna get put up we're actually going to move all of our spring equipment into and the one that our spring equipment is currently in uh, we'll probably move some of the haying equipment into uh, just because it's gonna be a lot easier Um, so we're talking, uh, we're probably going to put up a pig barn and a cow barn, um, uh, looking at maybe running 50 head of each, 50 cows, 50 pigs, um, but with running pigs, that means one of two things, we either need to s buy equipment and start running sugar beets. Uh, or potatoes, whichever it is, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've looked into uh, pigs and whatnot, but um, or we can just look into just buying that as we need it. Now we do also have to buy pig food, uh, which is going to be uh, another task. So what I was thinking is putting down a uh, universal silo where we can just kind of purchase things from. Um, if I don't already have it, I may already have it placed down. Um, have to take a look here at what we got over here for our buildings. Whoops. Um, no, we do not currently have the buy silo. Um, the international is still sitting here with the snowblower. Uh, we got it unhooked. We just haven't put the tractor away. Uh, we got our fertilizing and plowing set up, ready to rock and roll. Um, so what I think we're going to do is I'll show you guys the buildings that we plan on using. Um, so we got our animal pens here. Uh, we're going to put down this. Uh, cow barn so this has a capacity of 50 which will be perfect for our current uh, operation plan um, we could put down this one but that one is a lot bigger and it holds 200 we don't need a building that big this one will do just fine uh, we could also do this feed lot but then again uh, but again we're getting into the bigger building plus there's no cover we want cover for our cattle in the fall, uh, winter time and then we have this pig barn um, both of these hold 100, but like I said, we're only going to really get 50. So, um, I mean, we could also buy a chicken coop if we really wanted to, but 
We're just going to stick with the pig barn and our cow barn. So that right there is 100,000 alone. Um, first thing that we need to do is we need to look into picking up some land because we don't currently have any land that is put down into grass. So, um, we have this guy right here. So this buys all the land around the neighboring house. And it also buys us another field. Um, we have this one, but that comes with a field, and I don't really want that big field. But we do have this little square plot here. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this little plot. That one's only 13215 And we're going to get this guy for 299466 And then we also have some more hay fields up here. Uh, we have these two. So I think we'll pick up this guy. The smaller one as well as the larger one uh, and then we are going to need a couple more fields because we're going to need a field to chop corn in but I'm thinking that's what we can maybe use 74 as um, we could also buy this area which buys us um, a grass field and it buys us a grain two grain fields but I don't know that we really need those big fields. We could pick up uh, field 40 or 24 here, um, and that one would give us a little area. But um, we're gonna run with what we got for now until we get our equipment in and get that paid for, along with our buildings, just for the purpose of uh, making sure that we have the money for what we uh, really need. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take this. Uh, we got the cultivator and the plow in there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this over to our lime silo. Um, I need to turn my graphics settings down again. And I need to play with the encoder settings on OBS. Um, this is a new version of OBS that I'm running. So all the settings aren't quite where they need to be. So I still need to play with them a little bit. Uh, to get my frame rate up more. So we need our middle silo here. This is gonna be our lime silo. So we'll go ahead and get that filled up with some lime. So the Medicine Creek map was just released yesterday by No Creek Farms. Um, looks like an awesome map. I did try playing it a little bit, but one of the, I believe one of the mods I was using in it uh, is causing my game to lock up anytime it tries to save. So um, I need to play around with that a little more. Um. There's talk on the 31st of February, uh, the Wapiton 64X map is coming out, and uh, the Millennial Farmer map is currently in testing, so once the Millennial Farmer map comes out, we'll probably be switching between that map and this one, because uh, we'll be running our kind of smaller setup here, and then we'll be running a larger setup on that one, just because it's a larger map and all the fields are bigger, so... Um, plus, we'd already be running this small setup here, so probably look into that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to head over to field 76 here, and we're going to start spreading that field. Um, we're going to spread 76, and then once we get moved to our next field, then we'll get the plow out and get it going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set a timer here. For another, we'll go with 20 minutes. Because I think I've already been recording for maybe 5:10. So once the timer goes off, then we'll kind of see where we're at and find a stopping point. So we currently own this big grass area here, um, so that should give us a decent amount of hay off of that, along with our other hay fields. Uh, we should have enough fields where if we plant one in corn, um, I mean we are going to get. Um, I guess I didn't show the rest of what we were going to get. So we've got uh, in our silos. Uh, so we could go with a bunker. I don't think I'm going to go with that. I think I'm going to go with a silo. So this one holds 1.7 million. We don't need anything that big. Um, this one holds 500,000. We could go with that. That one will give us a decent amount. Um, this one holds 1.7 again. So we, again, don't need anything that large. Uh, this one holds 300,000, which we could go with. That one would maybe be a little bit better. 
Um, so I'm thinking we may go with this guy here. I want to see how this one looks first. Um, okay, yeah. This might be the one that we go with for the time being. And then for buildings, uh, we've got... A, I got... I downloaded a new building. So one of the things that we're going to get is we're going to get two of these hay sheds. Uh, we'll have one to put our hay bales in and one to put our straw bales in. Um... We also want to get, okay, where is, I got to find it here in the list. I know I have it enabled, so, um, where is it at? This one right here, we got this Morton building. We'll probably put down like two of those, and one of them we'll be putting our um, other equipment in. Um, you guys let me know if we should get the commodity shed where we can grind our uh, grass and straw bales into. Um, and then we could pick up the hay buster grinder. Um, that is an option. You guys let me know what you think on that. Uh, if you think that we should go for it or not. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys give me your feedback on that, on what you think of that. Um, if you want to see me grinding bales or just putting them straight into the mixer. Um. I personally would rather grind them just because it's a little more realistic rather than putting a big ass bale into our uh, feeder wagon. I'm going to go ahead and start putting down our lime here. So like I said, once we get this field spread and move on to the next one, then we'll get the plow going on here. Um, just because I want to plow the lime in. Uh, I mean, I have done it before where I plow and then I go back with the lime, put it down, and then I cultivate over it. But uh, I kind of want to plow it under in this case. So... See, our spray rate is currently 300 liters a hectare, so let's go ahead and increase that some. Let's bump that up to 1,000. See if that uses it up a little quicker, actually. Let's keep going. Because I don't want it to be where I can spread like six, you know, like four or five fields before I have to fill this. But I don't want to be where I'm spreading like half of this field and I run out. There we go. That'll work. We'll leave it at 2,000 liters a hectare. Whoa. Okay. We're going to have to realign this here. We're getting a little off course. I should have, when I bought this tractor, I should have... Uh, bought it with the GPS on it but for some reason the guidance steering just it doesn't work for me like I can get it to work and everything but it once I enable it you know like get the tractor going on the line it just sends my frame rate to hell I mean I don't get jacked for frame rate so Yeah, I, I had turned my graphics settings up to high, and I mean, I've been running just fine um, with not recording. Um, I mean, streams have been running pretty good, too, but uh, for some reason, whenever I start recording, it just, it wants to tank it, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, play around with the settings some. Uh, I'll probably go in and adjust the stream, or the, not the stream, the recording settings. And then I'll also probably turn my graphics down to medium. Because I have them on high currently, so I'll probably turn them down to medium. Play with the settings, see if I can't get something to play out, you know, play a little nicer. Um, play a little nicer with my recording so that way my frame rate stays where it is when I'm playing when I'm not recording rather than it uh, dropping as soon as I hit start recording because it's kind of a pain but uh, that or I may start using a different program I may just switch over to the program that I'm using for my streaming uh, and that is Streamlabs OBS uh, with that you can record as well as stream um, and it just it makes the streams look a lot more professional makes them look a lot nicer makes them run you know makes everything a lot nicer that's what a lot of people use uh, that I've been seeing or at least a program very similar to it so um, I got that set up I was actually using it over the weekend um, doing some streaming, I was doing some trucking and stuff, so. So now we got our field. We got two rounds around our field, and we can start going up and down our field here now. Yeah, I may kind of jump around, may, uh, you know, if I can get get it figured out of what's causing my issues with Medicine Creek um, and make it so that way I can save my game and not have one of my pieces of equipment uh, messing with it um, I'm probably gonna maybe throw in some videos of that or maybe I'll stream on that map uh, we'll see maybe throw in a video of it here and there because uh, it is a very very nice map I've been waiting for it for a while because uh, it's been in the works for a while very well done it's got a lot of nice additions to it so um, that would be a fun map to start maybe doing some live streams on at the very least if I don't do videos of it so we're knocking out this field pretty well um, I would set, because what I'm planning on doing is setting up our plow on course play. I would set this up on course play to run and fertilize while we plow, but uh, these tractors don't play nicely with course play. So, uh, that option is kind of out. Yeah, this is, it's definitely bugging me that I'm only running, what am I running? Between 17 to 20 frames a second, and when I was, before I hit start recording, I was running like 35, 40 or more. Uh, it's just kind of irritating to me that it's got to be like that, but that's what happens when you update things and things have been changed in the program and settings need to be adjusted which I mean my OBS has for a while been to where it drops my frame rate some so I've I've it's overdue for going in and adjusting stuff but it's even worse now that I've upgraded or updated it I mean I I've needed to update my OBS for quite a while uh, I was on version 1.8 and now it's on version 2.4 or I was on version 18, now it's on 24. So it it needed it needed to be updated, and I actually had issues with it when I uh, updated it to where my screen was just black. So I had to go through and fix stuff just to get it, so that way my screen showed up when I would be, you know, using it, and it was just a mess. But I got that figured out. I got my Streamlabs figured out. So. Um, because my Streamlabs runs a lot better, I'm probably just going to go 
compare settings between Streamlabs and my OBS and set my OBS to have all the same settings as Streamlabs. Try that once and see if that records a little bit better than uh, it does now. You know, that could be... Could fix it. Who knows? she's gonna stay asleep and just be up really early which would be fine here honey what so does that mean then all right so we got this field done so I'm gonna go ahead what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this guy off of the field move him right over here Alt B and we'll select our Alice. Oh shoot, I think I hit up the wrong button. Yep, I did. I don't want to be unfolding that. I accidentally hit V instead of C. So I'll get this big monster out of here. get him set up on course play to uh, plow that field yeah this this frame rates absolutely bugging me because I run a lot better frames not recording than I do recording and it's kind of irritating like it shouldn't shouldn't be dropping any once I start recording and it's bugging me that it is so after this video I'm definitely gonna be going in and playing with those settings and adjusting some stuff get this big monster unfolded I think we'll go ahead and start him right about here so we're gonna put him in field work we're gonna calculate the path we are on field 76 so we'll go ahead and set it to field 76 there's a lot of fields on this map. We'll overwrite that, go to course generation, and we'll select field 76. Oh wait, that's right, I can just click it. And we'll go around it, we'll go around three times, we'll drop this down to 11, just so he doesn't miss anything, and we'll generate that course. That looks like it'll work out to me. And we're going to save this, F76, Pro Till. Oops. I wasn't supposed to shut my tractor off. And we're going to go activate it, la stop at last point. We'll send the first waypoint. We'll bring this up. And we're going to just readjust this guy a little bit because he's a little bit off. ahead and we'll get him driving so he'll only take about eight minutes to get this field done so go ahead and we'll tab to this guy so our next field is gonna be field 74 which is gonna be a bit bigger so that one might take us a little bit longer to get done 
Well, that's gonna be this guy right over here, I believe. Correct? Yes. Yeah, and now my frame rate's tanked even more. This is really irritating. Especially when it's had no problems without the OBS running. So we'll go ahead and get started on spreading this field. There's no stubble in this one, but it still needs to be plowed because I do have periodic plowing on, so I just want to go through and I want to spread lime on every field. I want to plow every field. Next season we'll be able to just go and we'll spread lime over everything. Um, or well, we'll do that after harvest. We'll go ahead and we'll spread lime over everything and probably just cultivate the fields. And then in the springtime we'll be able to just go right over them and start planting. This field's definitely a bit larger. We'll get a good amount of grain off of it though, hopefully. I do want to stop and I want to look at something here once in placeables. I'm looking at global company. Okay, so that silo is not under this. Um, there's a silo that came with the um, Medicine Creek map. And I'm just trying to find what silo it was. I thought I had it activated to where I could use it on any map. But maybe it's not activated on here. I don't know. Unless it's in something else, because I think it was like a GSI. Hmm, I must not have activated it or else I can't use it without that map. So this is the multi-filling station I was talking about. Um, using this so then we could just buy pig food and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking of doing. And then we could just buy it straight from there. I mean, it's not really a realistic way to do it, but it's an easier alternative rather than trying to buy pallets of pig food and, oh my goodness, rather than trying to buy pallets of pig food and deal with that mess and everything like that. Oh, and we're going to have a tree in the way. That's going to be an issue. Might have to throw this into Giant's Editor and uh, delete that tree or move it or something. Because, uh, probably just move it back a little ways. Because that one is going to be a problem. I guess we can see here first. Maybe it doesn't have collision on it. To where we'd be fine for now. Nope, it does. So yeah, we are definitely going to have to get that out of the way. Because if we use course play for like our combine or anything like that. Or anything. You know, when our plow comes in here, it's going to hit that. So I will have to do that after I finish this video as well. Get that done. Get that moved out of the way. that will definitely be a problem Alright, so that's our timer. So I think I'm going to end the video here. And what I'm going to do between now and the next video is... Um, I'll probably get more of this field spread, if not finish this field. Just because I don't want to have, like... You know, two weeks straight of videos where we do nothing but fucking fertilize, plow, and cultivate. Um, actually, you know what? We could just as well sell our cultivator. We're not really going to need it because um, the only time I'm really going to plow is every so often when we need to plow. Otherwise, our seeders both have direct seeding on them. So we'll go ahead and sell that for $5,900. But uh, like I said, what I'm going to do is between now and next video is I'm going to go ahead and get this field fertilized. 
and I'll get the tractor moved over to probably field 25 and then I'll have the um, plow running on this and then uh, we'll see what happens between now and the next video if uh, our cattle equipment arrives if uh, it arrives then probably next video we'll work on getting some of that hauled home um, and getting everything set up we're not gonna buy cows right away until probably fall once we have the um, uh, once we have something to feed them um, you know we'll wait until we have all of our hay put up all of our silage put up and all of our straw baled um, and then we'll go ahead and get into them um, so that way we have something to feed them otherwise we aren't gonna have anything to feed them and then they're just gonna end up dying why are you taking me to this tractor first I want this tractor here so this guy is on his last uh, pass around and then he's gonna get that finished up and then he'll be good to go uh, he'll probably spend a little time sitting and waiting until we uh, get done with that field so that way I can start him going on it or at least until I get a majority of the field done but um yeah so that's gonna do it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see and turn on notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video video schedule is down below in the description uh, as well as my PC specs and links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at that is going to do it everybody if you um, I'm going to repeat myself. As always, we will see you guys tomorrow.